looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best budget piece in Madden 21, guys. Now, everyone's been asking for an updated list. I have not made this list since sometime in December. So, we're going to update it now. It's been about a month. And obviously, a lot can change in a month. Have you guys ever just went to the auction block and looked at cards that we thought were bangers? Very recently, like... Remember when, like, Jeremy Chin, Team of the Week, was, like, the best user in the game, but now we got, like, 96 speed safeties. Like, things change dramatically in short periods of time, so a lot can change, especially budget pieces. As players, like, outproduce other players, lower players go down in overall because they're outproduced, right? So it's an easy opportunity for you guys to go ahead and pick up some budget pieces right now. But before we get into the video, guys, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, come join the family, give this video a big thumbs up, as always, if you haven't already. Comment down below. Let me know who your favorite budget beast in Madden 21 right now is, guys. On this list, coming in at whatever number we're out of, I kind of just I made a list together. I did. I don't ever really number these because I just picked the guys that I think you need to have. Again, I'm trying to force a few guys onto a list that maybe, maybe shouldn't be there is what happens when you put a set number. Now, guy here, I should have started with something easier than John. That probably was too much. Okay, so John Randall. Here we go. So John Randall's our first guy here. 118k for his series Redux. Or you can go with his base legend, but I would first series Redux. This card is a perfect uh, middle of the gap, you know, can set some pressure, can force force some run stops. You know, he's going to have to do a little bit of everything. And you're going you're gonna to need this, right? In a budget team, you're not able to really get those, you know, glitchy ends and get them all in there in the middle of the field. You're going to be able to need to stop the run because if you're a budget squad, you're probably getting killed against the run and the deep pass. So at least stop one of them. John Randall's going to be perfect, has decent enough athleticism, has the play recognition. We'll get the block shed. He can be powered up, of course. We'll get the block shed. We'll get the power move. Now, because he's an LTD, he cannot be powered up yet, I don't believe. So you will be able to in the future, but not just yet. But if you put run stuff on him, he will get above 89 block shed. And he has a 93 finesse. So he's going to be a really good defensive tackle. Very well-rounded. Can do just about everything you want him to do. And, you know, he'll, he'll set the middle the middle gap and stop, you know, easy maybe halfback dives, easy uh, zones. Just a little bit. Because nothing's worse than getting just continuously ran on. For anyone who, you know, deals with that consistently, that is the worst feeling. You don't even want to play anymore when you're just getting run up the middle all game or even out yeah outside's out i don't even know if outside might be more annoying but it's definitely up there next we have ed reed uh, coming in at the next one strong safety and i like ed reed because he knew a little bit of everything he's pretty cheap uh he will have powered up 92 speed 92 excel with he will get uh 90 man coverage with lockdown and he will get 99 zone so he will have 99 zone coverage 90 uh 90 man coverage with 92 speed 92 excel and he's a ball hawk he has some hit power you know ed reed you know how he plays good agility uh, decent enough jumping 92 catching he's gonna make plays edward's gonna be a really good safety not the fastest safety in the game but again if you're on a budget team and you're working within a you know within a budget probably can afford the uh isaiah simmons and all the newer safeties next on the list is a guy that i actually think is really good i've been telling you guys when, during the christmas promo when he came out this would end up being a good budget say uh cornerback jamel dean cornerback right here 90 overall ghost of future there's a budget cornerback right here 94 speed 91 excel 87 agility 90 jumping 82 play rack 88 man 86 zone 85 press if you get locked on him you will be able to get i believe above 90 man zone and press on all three of them which would make him a threshold corner while he also has a 94 speed and one of the fastest budget corners in the game will be able to stop the run not because he's not he's gonna get blocked to, you know, to, to heaven right but the thing is with, with jamel dean is that he'll be fast enough to chase down take pursuit angles like when you have a really slow defense on a budget team the issue is that you know any any run that gets past the line of scrimmage could very easily be taken back for six right because the issue is you're not going to catch the guy so guys like jamel dean will be able to do much you know chase downs get around the edge again if he gets blocked he's probably gonna get killed because he's a cornerback but again that's like most people you know Deion sanders will get killed there too so you gotta hope that the speed can show up next we got marquise brown i'm still a big fan of this thanksgiving marquise brown probably the best budget receiver in the game or one of the best there's one better one i'll get to 93 overall he can get 94 speed he will have 91 route running and 92 deep route running so he's going to be get all threshold route running all threshold catching he's gonna be all 90 above everything plus 94 speed you really just can't beat that nowadays you're going to get all the thresholds and all that for below 150k combine that with speed and you get a 91 juke move 87 spin move guys this, this card this card's a beast right he's going to play just about anything you want him to play he can run just about he can run any route in the game again maybe not some fade routes maybe not some contested catching you know stuff but don't put him in that position 93 change of direction will be a little bit uh, shifty. Get a little, you can get a little sticky with him. I think Marquise Brown is a really good budget receiver. There's only one better one, but again, I have to go over how you have to get him. So that one will be a little bit different. So let's head on over to that now. 
the next two budget beasts i'm gonna show you guys you're gonna, you're gonna ask how are these budget beasts and i will explain in just a second so stick with me so the next one on the list number three uh again stick with me as i explain so the first one here there's gonna be two of them gonna be josh allen now which josh allen you're probably thinking we're gonna go with the playoff josh allen which is going to come all the way down here that is 234k now you don't think that's a budget piece and that's fine i'll explain to you how to get him super cheap so josh allen okay you can power him up you'll have 89 speed powered up 99 throw power with uh any throwing threat uh chemistry he'll have above 90 deep medium and short accuracy have 99 throw power and 89 throw in the run that will be the best budget quarterback in the game sorry 89 uh, speed so best budget quarterback in the game now you're gonna wonder how you get him now before i get into that there's one more guy that falls into his category that i want to go over and that's going to be ty hilton so ty hilton another guy here and that's going to also as well be the playoff card so the playoff ty hilton goes for 235k again i'll explain to you in just a second so ty hilton will get 96 speed powered up he will get 90 uh, 88 jumping he'll get all threshold uh, route running and all threshold catching powered up and chemmed up so again going to be the best receiver if you can get him and josh allen in your budget squad you're looking you're sitting pretty now to explain how to get them guys it's going to be a little bit of a process so just stay tuned let's get over to that but ty hilton's going to be a beast guys he's going to be the best receiver on a budget squad and honestly one of the best receivers in the game overall so you really can't go wrong with him and then josh allen's gonna be able to nail him from anywhere in that 99 throw power and the accuracy now let's go over how you get them guys out I, be, I made videos like this before, but I figured this would be a good way to implement into a budget beast video. So we go over to sets, come on over to, let's see, NFL playoffs. Let's go to playoff launch. Nope, sorry. Week one. All right, the John Abraham set. You're gonna have to do this set here. So again, to do this set, it's going to cost you, let's see, let's just let's just round 230. Uh, let's see, let's see, 220. And then probably another 230, right? So we're looking at about 680, 680K plus this 56K card. Now remember, all in all, let's say we're looking at around 700K. Remember, you do get one of these free. So make sure that you do go back and you go play your solos and you go get your free player. All you have to do is go, you go to the playoff solos, you finish them up and you get that free 95 you could pick. Pick one of the ones that go in here, whether it be Josh Allen, uh, T.Y. Hilton, or it ends up being Marcus Peters. So maybe take the most expensive one, which... It very well could be Marcus Peters because of that one 220 max was 280. But take one of them. Now the set goes down to around 500k, right? A little over 500k. So you do this set. Then what you do is after you finish the set, you go sell John Abraham, uh, John Abraham on the auction block, for like 400k. And now the set only costs you a little over 100k. So like maybe 120, 150k. So now for 150k, you got Josh Allen and T.Y. Hilton. You divide that by two. You're looking at around 75,000 coins. For two 96 overall powered up cards, maybe power them up, or just base 295 overall cards for six uh, 75k a piece. That would be the best budget squad values on your probably on your budget squad, and they'll be long term budget squad players because they're all threshold. They could play for a while. I'm just telling you guys, it's a highly recommended. Uh, I highly recommend doing that. You get your quarterback and your wide receiver of the budget squad future for a super cheap price, and you also get. And don't forget to get Marcus Peters, right? Let's make it even better. I'll just throw Marcus Peters. Now you're getting Marcus Peters, Josh Allen, and T.Y. Hilton. And if you divide that by three now, it's 50K. 50K, and you fill out three places on your budget squad. You're nowhere in this game, nowhere in hell are you getting three 95 overall players for 50K a piece in your budget squad. Those are going to cost you each a little over 200K. That should have costed you 700K. So go ahead again. You do the set. You get the free player first in the solos. You put him in. You do the set. Once you do the set, you sell John Abraham, and you get to keep with these three. You don't want one of them which i highly recommend you keep all of them considering they're going to be probably the highest overalls in your budget squad and they're super cheap but yeah guys about it for the video um there's one last guy i want to show you but again not going to be as good as some of the other guys but he is on the list in case you do, can't do that set or for whatever reason you don't want to one more receiver here again receivers typically own budget squad you get a lot of good speedy uh, values and that's going to be the rookie himself henry ruggs henry ruggs is super good he has his newer card which is his ghost of future uh, Henry Ruggs, let's see right here, he's going to be 90 overall with 95 speed. So, not going to be a route running uh, threshold, not going to be catching threshold. He's going to be a pure speed guy. So, let's say you get T.Y. Hilton, you get Marquise Brown as your two outside receivers, and you, then you put uh, Henry Ruggs like, in the spot, you give him drags and slants and some easy you know, seam streaks, something that he doesn't have to really run routes on, just going to get open and use his speed. But, guys, that pretty much does wrap up the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, smash the like button. If you guys need coins, pick up some players for the budget squad. Head over to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional. Whatever percentage is going on right now, what's 30? Could be back to 15, but go check that out. 
And of course, comment down below who is your favorite budget squad from this list or your favorite budget squad player overall. And that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.